you know, there's such a rich history to Williamsburg, and that's why I'm honored to be its first history expert. I and mean, someone had to do it sooner or later, right? We're, we're right next to the, uh, the second oldest college in the country. They have a whole history department. <laughs> yeah, but those are historians. I'm a history expert. Uh, what's the difference? Well, it's simple. You see, I have expert at the end of my name. I'm documentarian Ben Kearns. Join me and Williamsburg history expert Giovanni Schnabel on an exploration of America's oldest city in The True History of Williamsburg with Giovanni Schnabel with Ben Kearns. <coughs> My tour group's here. You know, a lot of people ask me about the story behind Williamsburg's name. I don't know, they think it's some big secret or whatever, but it's actually pretty straightforward. We're named after the town's founder, William Berg. That is called a horse. This is one of the barrels they used to put people in when they pushed them over the waterfalls. There are waterfalls around here. <laughs> one day he just showed up and started doing these tours. I tried to get rid of him because he doesn't have a tour guide license and he's taking business away from legitimate tour companies. But he gets around it with this weird loophole. If the tour groups are small enough, they're not considered tour groups, they're... Intimate historical interactions which just kind of sounds like colonial porn to me. I mean, 5% of the stuff he says at most is historically accurate. So if you notice this building here is white, that's actually a reference to the founding fathers of Williamsburg. Oh! Be careful. Thank you, I was really worried there for a minute, Giovanni. I'm sorry. What's happening? Yeah, I was pretty worried too. For the brick, look at this, oh my goodness. You know, this is a famous brick. This is the brick that Paul Giamatti tripped on back in 2008 when he was filming John Adams. Oh, man. You know, it's so famous that some student group named themselves after it. I don't know, I think it was an acapella group or something. You know, originally I'm from Boston, if you can't tell from my accent, but I'm really passionate about history and there's not much history up there, so I had to move down here. <laughs> Are they gone? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're pretty busy with the tree. Okay, cool, cool. Well, keep this on the down low, but I think that sometimes I can still hear the voices of people who used to live in this town. You mean like, like ghosts? Do you see any right now? He's probably not gonna show up on the camera, but there's one right over there. Okay, that's, that's, a, that's an actor, bud. Oh yeah? Well, how come he's not reacting when I'm waving? I'm working, dick. Did you hear that? You can all hear him. Dad, I love my job, but you know, sometimes it is tough. Like, you know, I have to wake up at 4.30 every morning just to stay on schedule. What schedule? You don't work here. You see, I get up and then I study the dossiers on all my clients to make sure that I can give them the best personalized tour experience. What personal information are you getting from these people? And then after that, I have a light snack and then I hit the gym so I can work on my legs. It's rigorous, but it's required. So. No one is requiring you to do that. After that, I hit the cryo chamber for a quick sesh. Cryo chamber? Yeah, we did. Then I have my full breakfast and then it's time for me to meet up with my first group. Wait, where'd they go? Taxi? Taxi? I'm sorry, honey. I, I really screwed the pooch on this one. Hey, 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 hey. It's okay. I mean, you, you scrolled that five-star review on Yelp, right? No, 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 no. It was it was it was Kelp. It was just a uh, it's, it's a review site just for seafood establishments. My buddy Jeff is working on it. Kelp? This isn't, this isn't even a seafood town. We're like an hour from the ocean. Yeah, I know, but you know Jeff is a good guy, and he, he really needs this win. Don't even get me started on Jeff. But it, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Honestly, I don't even care. I'm surprised you didn't invite him to this tour with us. I feel like I'm married to both of you. You say that. You see, this is why I love getting up in the morning. I just want to bring people together. Yeah, I majored in history at William and Mary. Uh, Professor Lovesack, she actually said that uh, I was the best student she ever had the privilege of having in her class. The best ever? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, maybe she's had smarter ones since then, but I was still a great student. He never enrolled at William and Mary. He just sat in the back of my lecture hall and lost at all the cahoots. Okay, yeah, but I was in the class. Yeah, sure, that part is true. 
where is this airing? Nah, that's why I love this town. You just don't see this anywhere else. God, I love it here.